Welcome, I'm Carla. I visited our province with the intention to stay for only three days. Six months later, I never thought I'd start my own YouTube channel. In these trying times, it's hard to keep a positive outlook. But I want to challenge myself to find simple things to be grateful about in my waking life. How far can I go? There's only one way to find out. Taking it one step at a time. again it's sort of <laughs> I just want to document my transformation journey because if you have been following me since the very first time I posted something on my YouTube channel it was about my weight loss journey doing the 14 day water fasting and I have to say honestly I have let myself go sort of because it's just really a difficult time and that is something that I have to acknowledge but I'm on it again I'm inspired to do things again and just to keep in mind that if motivation doesn't work then I have to make use of my discipline that's what I'm trying to work on for accountability and hopefully I'll be able to give you updates of my transformation journey so this is going to be my week one for the walk with me vlog and what I'm also going to include like the food I'm going to eat while I'm on this journey towards hitting my goal of 50 kilos. I actually really want 48 kilos. So that will be based on my BMI, my height, my age, and how much I weigh. I guess the important part is you have to acknowledge that there will be times that you will feel demotivated, just like me. But I want to make sure that I do myself a favor and push myself a little bit because I know I can do it. So I'm not going to limit myself for what I can achieve. Yes. So I need to practice my discipline. This is just the first part of the week. I'm going to continue this and continue to update you about how I also keep track of my diet or even exercise. I never really knew how much I missed hiking until today. So I'm just I'm just so thankful that I'm back on this activity again. <laughs> Can you just imagine guys how many cows, goats, chickens, dogs, cats I've already walked past. <laughs> and the birds. Yeah. Super awesome. Now let me tell you why I stopped everything went a little crazy and i'm just thankful again that i have work it went a little crazy at work for me <laughs> so we became three times four times busier than usual mm. and so i have to change my schedule quite a bit we have to be locked in oh my gosh i have to stop wait look at that you see that dog i can't believe it out of nowhere hi doggy hi Oh, he's afraid of me. <laughs> so cute. Does he have an owner? Probably he does. Okay. So we were locked for a month to train people. Okay. Of course. Nothing has changed. Every time I try to vlog. One more. Okay. Another one. Okay. Is it done? Is it over? <laughs> yeah. So again, I'm not complaining about that. It's just we have to acknowledge that it's a little difficult to manage your time, especially when you have to 
cover a schedule that is totally abnormal from your from your time zone <laughs> so i have to be on a 9 p.m to 6 a.m shift um, there was also a point in time when i have to like be on a 6 p.m to 3 a.m shift and my usual schedule by the way is 1 p.m to 10 p.m which is fine with me because i'm not really a morning person but totally getting a graveyard shift is something that i haven't really had in a very long time like years and years ago so anyway yeah i find it difficult to adjust my schedule going back to my regular routine at work at least and then after a week or two you will be assigned to deal with another project and so it's all about fle flexibility and your commitment for work right and again i have already mentioned this to you that my number one priority is really my work but i guess i also have to make sure that i strike that balance but that was just really an adjustment period for me and all, with all the things that's going on right so yeah that was a part of it and then i also met someone who i think and hopefully is already the right guy for me and so a lot of things has been going on in my life lately and i think he's a really nice guy anyway that's actually what happened and please do not expect for me to have like a like standard way of showing what i do for my update because it's never going to be the usual kind of weight loss update that you normally see vloggers post on social media i i want to be different <laughs> i guess it's always going to be different for everyone so whatever works for me i'm going to focus on that and hopefully people will appreciate it you know so anyway yeah those are like some of the reasons and i say reasons because it's just really reasons that made me convince myself to think that i cannot do this because of the changes that i had about my work and my personal life and now i'm here to change that <laughs> so i hope and my target is still 50 kilos hopefully 48 that's my dream goal um yeah i hope that i'll be able to achieve it with you guys there that will serve as this will serve as my accountability again <laughs> um, and hopefully i'll be able to do it so body transformation it's although partly you want to look good because when you look good you feel good about yourself you feel more confident it feels like you can conquer the world <laughs> that's what it feels like for me and so i'm already near my finish line by the way Yay. so going there is Barangay Mangato and then down there will be to Inambatan Falls so <laughs> I'm a little bit slow today I'm taking my time because it's not what it used to be like when I was hiking for like every day, every single day at that time after my fasting I was so energized I can even like just finish eight kilometers in just one hour one hour twenty an hour 30 minutes but i've been hiking since three in the afternoon i guess it's already four i'm so halfway through with all the changes that happened i am just happy that i also actually discovered something i wish i knew this earlier a part of the reason why i wasn't able to continue with my hiking with all the changes of my schedule because i have to adjust right it's because of my sleep i've been sleeping an average of two or three hours a day four or five if i get lucky and then of course there's another motorcycle <laughs> when my aunt mentioned about melatonin i've heard that before i've used melatonin before but i have not really considered that because i don't think i have the the need to do it and it never really crossed my mind until recently and i discovered this melatonin a pill with melatonin it's called sleep well it's just three milligrams and it made the world of difference for me so i was able to sleep get six to eight hours of sleep now when i first took it i slept for like nine hours 
felt so good. So that's why I feel like I have more sleep and I feel more energized and I feel like I have the power to go out and hike again because I was able to um, regain my energy because I have more sleep now. So that's why. Um, I hope you are going to stick with me in my transformation journey and see how far I've come if I will be able to achieve my goal of 50 kilos. So I will give myself five or six months to be able to do that. Filipinos love and I wonder I wonder how I wonder why <laughs> and all that I can see is just another lemon tree Just right when I see, <laughs> just right when I turn my camera on to to vlog, of course. That was a mellow, mellow kind of motorcycle. It's not that annoying. Anyway, it's my day two. <laughs> day two, and it's April one, Monday, Thursday. Yep, I don't have work, so. I'm happy and if you can see yeah it's a bit cloudy but I like this kind of weather when I go out for hiking because it's not too hot and the only problem would be if it's going to rain but thankfully it's not it's not it did not even drizzle the slightest bit it's just really cloudy and it's good my feeling so far, day two, April 1, feeling good. I don't have work, so I can definitely sleep to my heart's content when I arrive home. <laughs> I was so dead tired yesterday, but I had to work from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. That's the kind of sound I really hate. You know, people will have their own pet peeves. Mine is that sound. And I know I have already mentioned yesterday that I'm dating someone. It's been, well, since last year, actually. Yeah, September last year. And talking about the motorcycle noise, he said that the motorized vehicle sound is, is like music to his ears. And I don't get it. <laughs> so we can both agree to disagree on that. <laughs> But yeah, I do, I do understand where it's coming from because he likes the adre adrenaline rush. He used to race locally where he was staying because it's his passion. He doesn't do it anymore. Good thing because it's, I don't know. He's past that. Ah. Hey, hey Carabao. <laughs> yeah anyway all right guys just sharing i will keep it short for now and there will be another one tomorrow <laughs> Thank you.
day three. Uh, okay, guys, it's a little bit super hot, not just a little bit. <laughs> it's extremely hot today, totally different from yesterday. Look, <laughs> the sun is out, so I'm still on it, already halfway through. I cannot film going up because it's uphill and you cannot and you will never understand me. I'm gonna be panting and breathing so hard. <laughs> yeah, so day three and it's April 2, Holy Friday. Still don't have work. I'm happy about that. So if it's a Philippine holiday, automatic, I don't have work. So what I'm feeling right now is really, my body is still trying to adjust it's still adjusting to the new activity that I've been doing <laughs> for the past two days. It's probably because I'm a little, a little heavier than usual that makes it a little difficult for me to go uphill. I don't know the altitude of this area, how high this one is from the town proper that I had to check. But uphill, man, it's so, it's so challenging. But all good already four kilometers so every single day it's like almost eight kilometers of walk anyway and i know it's not enough because i'm not really moving a lot when i'm at home so i still have to incorporate my exercise i haven't really eliminated carbohydrates yet i still eat rice and noodles and other carbs but i hope that i can plan out my my diet for next week because on sunday i'm going to cebu city so today is going to be my last day of vlogging for the week because my videos would always come out every Saturday morning at 11 Philippine time. So that's 11 p.m. EST. It's easier to convert that way if it's not DST, right? <laughs> my last day of vlog and I will keep it short because when I edited the two other vlogs that I had from yesterday and the other day, wow, <laughs> it's a little bit long. So probably it will reach like I don't know, a good 20, 20 minutes. I hope it's gonna be shorter than that. So guys, so guys, if you have reached this far in my vlog, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate that. Obviously it's longer because this is my first vlog of my weight loss journey. And just to fill you in on what I've been doing so far, what, I, what has happened to me, you know, and so, once we get this out of the way and since i've already explained most of the reasons why and what happened then the succeeding vlogs will be a little bit shorter <laughs> so again i appreciate your time for watching all of my videos you are one of those people who keeps me going thank you very much thank you for watching Bye bye